Well, a new day and a new seven innings on the scoreboard in the CIF playoffs. Welcome to the sports, everyone. Today marked the next round of playoff and softball playoffs where some teams had a chance to punch their ticket directly to the semifinal round on Tuesday with others having to fight for their season. So here we go, the first game of the day at Elmer Belcher Field in Calexico, the playoff Bulldogs as the two seed in Division Four hosting Monte Vista to try to move on to Tuesday. Bottom two, dogs down one nothing, but Manuel Cano has other ideas. Sends this pitch well into the left center field gap and down. That ball rolls to the fence and Cano is rolling in the third. Slides in safely, a leadoff triple to get the boys going. Now Jose Ortega at the plate. He chops this one to third. It's fielded and the throw is on time, but look at Cano with the outside slide to touch the plate and tie this up at one. Later in the inning, Randy Baez lays down the bunt in a perfect spot and the wheels are just too much. Pitcher can't even make the throw. The bases are now juiced. And after two hit by pitches, the walk and runs, the dogs would take a 4-1 lead into the third. And now the lead, Orlando Yamas in a jam, but uses the off speed to get the strikeout to get out of the inning and ease the damage. Bottom three now, a pair of base, bases on, and it's Baez again, taking a hack this time up the middle for an RBI single, followed by a sack fly RBI from Andres Ontiveros. Klucksko once again goes on to drop 17 runs, giving them 34 in the first two playoff games. They cruise to the semis on Tuesday. Over to McCarty Field at Imperial High Tigers hosting the Central Spartans. This one in a winner go home situation in the elimination bracket starting in the top of the first. Nobody out. Diego Acuna up at the plate but this pitch is wild. Gets the backstop that allows Seth Johnson to make his way on over to third. Later in the same at bat Acuna sees the pits and chops it to Angel Barron at third. The throw to first is in time but meanwhile Johnson scoots across the plate to score from third after the fielder's choice. 1-0 Spartans. On to the bottom of the first. One away for Humberto Martinez. Flips this one out to center. One on, one out for the Tigers now in the bottom half. Later on, bases loaded with Luis Gonzalez up for the Tigers. He's going to send this one out to right. That drops down in for a base hit. Brings in two runs to score. So after giving up the lead, the Tigers get it right back. And in the end, though, this one would be nuts. Imperial survives a thriller. They score five runs in the bottom of the seventh. The walk it off in shock. Central 8-7, the final there. Staying in Division Four baseball, the Holtville Vikings now forced to fight for their season in the elimination round tomorrow as they fall the top seed Bishops 5-1. to one. Vikings will once again play El Capitan, who they just beat the other night. In Holtville, 11 a.m. tomorrow, Division Three baseball. The same goes for the Brawley Wildcats. They, after a walk-off on Wednesday, the Cats fall to the top-seeded Maranatha Christian tonight. They, too, will play in an elimination game tomorrow night at home at 7 o'clock. Now we hit the softball diamond in Holtville. The Lady Vikings with Academy of Our Lady of Peace in town for this one. The Vikings with a four spot in the third inning, trying to hold on to the lead in the fifth, and Callie Strom has it covered. Gets the strikeout to strand two on base. And now after a leadoff single in the sixth, watch this, a slow roller for Cameron Walker. She makes the play, makes it look easy. But then look at Annalise Gutierrez, fires across to Sophie Irungare in time for the double play to close the inning. The Vikes are all fired up on that one. Vikings bats would go one, two, three in the sixth, so we get the seventh inning fist bump from Coach Schneider to close it out, and this is a good start. Little flare into right, coming out of nowhere in the frame, Mackenzie Price. And KP, they call her, laying out, making the play. Two batters later, ball game. Strom with the riser for the K and the complete game shutout for her. Holtville celebrates as they keep the train moving straight to the semifinals in Division Two on Tuesday. 4 nothing the final there. And then, last but not least, staying in Imperial just an hour earlier, the softball team welcoming in Escondido Charter. The lowest remaining seed at 12. Tigers, of course, coming in at number one, Division Three, Top of the first 12 seed, causing some trouble early. Shelby Van Slyke sends this out to left. That one gets past the diving Logan Fisher. Van Slyke eventually makes her way over to third with a triple. Gianna Mertens now up for Escondido, and she launches this one all the way out to the center field wall. Van Slyke comes in to score. Mertens at first base. Escondido strikes first. They go up one nothing. Bottom half, though, Andrea De La Trinidad up with runners on first, and she's going to send this pitch from the left field. Batter's box out to left field. That one reaches the wall. Meanwhile, on the base pass, it's Hannah Johnson coming all the way from first to tie things back up at one. RBI double for De La Trinidad, and later on, it's Muriel 
Baron, and Baron is gonna come up big. She would get a base hit that would go all the way to the wall, score a couple. Imperial would take the lead right back from Escondido. These two teams would go back and forth, but in the end, Imperial, they get a ticket to the Division II semifinals as well. And how about this, before we go, Palo Verde striking again, and they win on the road. They are also headed to the Division IV semifinals in girls softball. That's all the time we have for sports.